I'm going to say this again. I hope sir, मुझे डांटे नहीं. मैंने हमेशा कहा एक एक इंसान. Whenever we see him, हम सब के मुंह से यही निकलता है. I love you, Amitabh Bachchan. And I've said it time and again. I'm going to say it today. So thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much. आप यहाँ आए और सब से मुखाते हो रहे. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the process. And जब वो पर्दे पे होते हैं, we enjoy watching him. Give it up for Kamal Hasan Saab, ladies and gentlemen. स्टेज पे जब आप देखोगे ना आप खुद सोचोगे ये क्या हो रहा है लेडीज एंड जर्मन द बिगेस्ट पैन इंडियन सुपरस्टार ही इज गिवन अस लाइक ओपनिंग्स ऐसी कि बॉक्स ऑफिस भी बोलता है सर माफ कर दो गिव इट अप फॉर प्रभास सर लेडीज एंड जर्मन द डार्लिंग ऑफ द इंडियन फिल्म इंडस्ट्री एंड एज आई सेड She is supremely talented, and of course, one of our favorites. One of which we leave. She is our favorite. Give it up for Deepika Padukone, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and and to complete this, may I invite on stage the man who I said is the biggest dhuta, who is film ki baat kar rahe hain, and how beautifully is he talking about this? Give it up for Rana Dagubati, ladies and gentlemen. All yours, sir. Interaction of a lifetime. Please be seated, sir. Please. And as I was talking about the experience, collective experience, देख रहे हैं आप इस स्टेज पे. साधुओं का है दर्शकों का है एक बार जोरदार तालियां इस टीम के लिए लेडीज जर्मन कल की टू एट नाइन एट एट थैंक यू सर एक्चुअली थैंक यू नागी फॉर नॉट हैविंग मी इन द फिल्म बट हैविंग मी डू ऑल दिस सर आई नॉट स्टार्ट विद यू सर व्हेन नागी फर्स्ट केम इन was talking about the idea this was much before any of this materialized he was it's kalki we all know about the coming of an avatar we heard it through childhood stories and a filmmaker actually trying to make that in the science fiction world and had imagined you on day one as the ashtakam so what was your reaction to that When Nagi came and explained to me the idea, uh, for a long time after he left, I was thinking, "What the hell has Nagi been drinking?" <laughs> to think of something like this, it was absolutely something outrageous. And with some of the visuals that you've seen just now, it's just unbelievable to uh, to have somebody conceive a project uh, which is so futuristic and so possible. And during the making of the film, we realized that. Uh, No matter what he thought of, he actually got all the material, all the effects, every kind of visual of vision that he had, and, and that really has been an amazing experience. For me to be just a part of it uh, has been an experience I'll never forget. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, dear. Your veterans are really small world. And encyclopedia also felt like a silly word once I said it. In your plethora of cinema, you watched so many filmmakers grow, create different roles with you. This was science fiction, and it had mythology in its play. And it had a filmmaker who was really young. And if all of you know the looks of Nagi, he doesn't look anything like a filmmaker. Uh, I'll tell you a truth. Today is actually a lost kid from Shambhala who grew up in Hyderabad. So, how did he actually narrate this to you, sir? And what was your reaction? I am used to these kind of uh, ordinary-looking people who do extraordinary things. My boss, my mentor, was one such man. He he looked like a government official. I thought he was, first thing if he enters any house, you'll think it's an income tax. <laughs> But uh, I've seen what he was capable of from the kind of films he did. I think uh, Ek Mujhe Ke Liye was his 60th or 70th film. 
So I am quite, I was not surprised. I, am, I don't underestimate these ordinary looking guys. They have a depth to them that doesn't show unless you talk to them. And I did have the opportunity of talking to him, man a few words, and uh, that's about uh, the, the succinct way of putting forward your idea, if it extends to movies, great ideas will translate better. It's, it when, it's when they don't know how to present it, that great ideas become ordinary movies. But this guy knew how to present an idea, which as uh, Amitji said, you know, first thing you want to ask is what you've been smoking or what you've been drinking. But, that, that's how great ideas are formed. I mean, ordinary people will doubt it and then they'll start respecting it. I could see a bit of that and uh, my only, I was moaning backstage to uh, <laughs> Amiji about, I always wanted to play bad man because the bad man gets to do all the good things. And so, where the heroes are, singing romantic songs and waiting for the heroine where he can just go ahead and do what he wants. But I thought, I'm going to play the bad man, so it's going to be fun. But then, like, uh, he wanted to be different. And I'm almost like a sage in the film with, with a bad idea. <laughs> Sir, and the look, you had, there was one shot of you in the promo. And then that just stunned pretty much the whole country. And you have so many different looks that you consistently keep creating. I remember Nagi before he took the flight for the look test. He was saying, dude, I'm feeling really silly. What am I going to talk to Mr. Kamalasan about look and get up? I'm just going to ask him to do it. Let me know how that happened. That's what he told you, but we kept talking about it. Because we had a lot to talk about and also not look like something else, which I've done already, or somebody else has done already. Now, I, I thought I have images of this film. So I thought I would dress myself up in such a way people would turn around and look at me. And I got an idea. I would do some research and come, oh, that Amaji is doing that. What you came up with, he is already doing it. Then I'll go cursing my eyes. The audience will react the same way as we did when we saw the person. Awesome, sir. Thank you. We ran over you. I don't know. You, okay, it's you are now one of the biggest names in cinema. Clearly, what is it like working with one, two, three? What, what do you do on set? What's your first? I should thank the producer. And we touch each other's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Never allowed you to do that, but. Uh, I was being honest. Bro, Raggy, you know. He is my friend, sir, introvert, sir. He is very all powerful in the movies, but he is really an introvert in sleep. But what's wrong with touching his feet? <laughs> Tell me about it. So, what's up? How is it working with, I think, line on each? Yes. So, I should thank uh, the Dev and Nagy for giving me the opportunity. Such greatest legends. It's like bigger than dream. And I don't know what to say. It was like first time I met <laughs> and I touched this bit. He said, Don't do it. If you do it, I'll do it. Sir, please. I can't even think. <laughs> we grew up watching you. My uncles had your hairstyle. He's the first actor in the country. Reached every part of the country. South, North, we all know in Telugu, Tamil, you know. Yeah, we saw like, Amitabh Bachchan hairstyle, that hairstyle tall. Any tall people, they call Amitabh Bachchan. So, he's the, he's the first actor, I think, who reached the that. Kamal sir, I, when his Sagar Sangam came, I, want, I, I asked my mother, I want his dress. My cousins, we had, in the region, we had a tummy, and they used to put a cloth on his stomach, and they used to act in front of us. Like, see, and I'm working with them. It's just like something unbelievable. And the lovely lady to your left. That's a subject. <laughs> yeah. And the, the, 
I always want to. The fact that he has said more than two sentences, we should be celebrating. Big round of applause, please. Yeah, yeah. I want to work with her always, and uh, some some actors, actors who can reach her on the, such an international level, and such a beautiful, gorgeous, and superstar, and a great actress. And it's beautiful to work with you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm like this because of all the food he's fed me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start by talking about that. Did all of you eat great food on set? Uh, no? Yes, got to see. This man? Yes. Every day. And it got to a point where it wasn't just food no coming from home. There was like full catering service. So the highlight of the day almost became what is Prabhas feeding everyone. And for those who know him well, know um, that he feeds from the heart, so. Awesome. So Dibhika, when I was speaking in Nagi, I said, who do I talk about the story and who should reveal most things? I said, I think Dibhika should speak about it. So, we see you carry, I mean, at first, at first I thought you were like really in character trying to do this, but can you talk about your role and the film? Why? Why? You didn't ask any of them that question. But I know Nagi put that in me. said she is the one you should ask. Can't. I think he said a lot about the movie and, and the world. But I, I mean, I think what I can definitely say is that um, it's, it's unlike anything we've experienced or seen before. So even when I, I remember doing the narration for this through COVID, and Nagi was on Zoom and I was on the other end, and. Um, I think much like uh, Kamal sir said, you know, you can see, you could see sparks of genius in him, even though this is just his second or third movie, um, you could tell that it was, as he was narrating, there wasn't much on paper, but it was all in his mind, and every time he spoke and you look, and even now, when you look into his eyes, you can see that, you know, the entire visual of what he's envisioned over the years is so clear. And that's the only time, and I mean it in a good way, where you actually hear him speak. And speak so articulately because that's the one thing that he's just completely consumed by and, you know, passionate about. And, um, but yes, uh, I mean, I, I really don't know. Very honestly to your question, I don't know how much I can and cannot say. But yes, I, I, I play the mother, and uh, yeah, and then the movie's out on the 27th for everyone to discover the rest of it. So welcome to Telugu Cinema, that I guess I have to say that to you in some ways. Yeah. Are you going to do more films? I mean, sure, if, if, if the audience would like me to, sure. Awesome, thank you. So we have a little tradition that Telugu Cinema follows and we thought we should bring it here along. And, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Swapna Dutt, the producer of the film. <laughs> and now, Mr. Ashwin Dutt has the first ticket to give out. And could I please call on stage Mr. Amida Vachan to pick up the first ticket. Please. Since you get to watch private screen, I'd like to give it to my colleague, my dear friend, and my brother Kamal Hassan. Oh. Five decades ago, 
and he had given me the first day for a show ticket of Shole. <laughs> I had to wait for three weeks to see that film. I hope there are many more fans who would wait those three weeks to see the film, like I did Shole. And uh, I, I never thought I'd be here to really receive a first day for a show uh, ticket from Bachchan. I was a film technician. Now I'm an actor. Nothing has changed. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to say a few words about this wonderful gentleman. He's the owner of Pujanti Films, along with his two daughters. And uh, I have never met a more simple, humble human being than Ashwin Every time you're on set, he's the first person to be there. He's at the airport to receive you. And whenever we're working, Nobody thinks like this. Thank you so much, sir. And with all due respect, sir, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. And that's the end of the evening. Enjoy Kalki. Thank you. Thank you to every single one of you on stage.